Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going over the Armor Plating Mod. And uh, this one is pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but I think it's a cool addition. It allows you to get a bit more durability into your vehicles. So first off, it adds one tech here that you can unlock, the Armor Plating Technology, which is this red, green, blue, and military, 150 of each. And this will unlock the Armor Plating, Armor Plating Equipment, and Energized Armor Plating Equipment. And these are then parts you can put in your vehicle. So first off, you'll need your armor plating here, which is just not too expensive. And then those are used to actually make the armor plating equipment. You need five of those, two iron gears and copper cable. And then the energized armor plating requires one of the, uh, the previous here. And then some red circuits and batteries. Okay, now this mod adds uh, a, a little vehicle grid to each vehicle uh, with the mod. So... I don't have any vehicle grid mods specifically installed. This mod alone adds this little grid. Um, there are some vehicle grid mods that I think may add a bigger grid if you want to, you know, use that. But if you don't want to bother, this will add this uh, smaller one. And you, you stick the parts in there. Now, there's a, there's a few things to clarify here because I actually talked to the, uh, the dev of this mod because it was a bit confusing. Uh, first off, this doesn't actually change the HP... Uh, well, in general, it doesn't actually change the HP, but it doesn't change the HP uh, on the GUI at all here. And when we put stuff in, that won't change. It will show a little pop-up of the health change. Um, but my understanding is it doesn't actually change the health. It gives it just more of an armor bonus. It's armor plating, right? So if we go ahead and stick one of these in here. Now, these do require energy. I don't... Well, it shows an energy bar, but I don't know that you really need it because I was just doing some testing and it seemed to work without it. Um, but we'll try it with energy and uh, you can see there it's, it says the vehicle now has 100, uh, 1450 HP total. So this normal one adds a thousand health flat uh, and then this one adds 30% health uh, additional. So uh, this one is a bit interesting because it's really only good in the tank after you already have uh, two of the normal ones because adding 30% to a car or just to the tank's flat health is going to be less than a thousand, right? So that one's only, it, it does add a little more than a thousand if you put two of these into a tank and then the uh, energized one. Uh, but we'll start here. So this guy has this in here and I want to do a demonstration because again, it doesn't change the health itself, it doesn't seem like, but we can do uh, a demonstration here by shooting it. So this one doesn't, uh, this one does, sorry. Uh, let's take this out. So this one does not have any equipment in it, and this one does. So if I take my gun here and I shoot this and watch the HP over there on the GUI, you can see the speed at which it's going down, right? Uh, let's actually switch. It's a little easier to tell when it doesn't go down quite that fast. Um, so we're just using a pistol here, right? You can see the rate at which that goes down. And then this one, you can see it is a slower rate at which that goes. Uh, now, out of curiosity, we can test and see if these do in fact require energy or not to be effective. Uh, we can just put one with the energy and uh, I guess he's both it duplicated. And then we'll take this out and just stick one in without energy. Okay, so if we look here, it seems to go down at you know, that speed. I would say they go at the same speed, so you don't actually need energy. And then the tank obviously would be the same thing. Uh, so if you want to get the max out of this, because um, the tank normally has 2000 health, so this added a thousand. Uh, again, at thirty percent of that would not actually be more. That would be uh, nine hundred. So if we add a second one of these, that's four thousand. But thirty percent of that is actually going to be more. That's going to be twelve hundred. So if we do that. You can see that out now is actually more than adding another uh, just normal armor plating. And uh, this guy, I mean, you can see this is with the pistol. Uh, it does almost no damage. Like you can see the. The damage there compared to this um, it does go down a little bit faster uh, if we switch to this let's uh, put some normal ammo here if we switch to this guy you know it goes down maybe once a second or so and this one is maybe once every couple seconds uh, so it, it does increase the durability a fair bit and that's pretty much the mod so definitely check it out if you're interested link in the description to the mod portal as always if you have any questions or comments do leave them down below and uh, until next time that'll do it and i look forward to seeing you all take care